You get me? Yeah, I kind of like how WoW does it. Like, wow, like, I will say WoW, despite their lack of good storytelling, they do at least manage to have, like, their advent their leveling process at least is fun to, like, do the story, because you get to do stuff. <clears throat> right. A greeting. Uh-oh. Oh, it worked. Oh shit, she did it right. Oh, oh, Kali. <laughs> Good. You brought your man. Oh, thank God. Okay, that is a, that is a hello. When in Okano, do as the Hanu do. For a country as diverse as ours. The preservation of harmony demands that we respect the cultures of all peoples who call it home. I was worried for a second. That explains your familiarity with Hanu customs. And you speak truth, of course. To live together means to learn about each other. His character says he's a stickler for manners. He 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 just wants to respect their culture, and I under I can understand that. I can understand that. Like I'll never forget. This actually pissed me off. Uh, so back when I first started dating my wife, uh, when I went to her family home for the first time, I had to learn how to eat with tortillas instead of spoons and stuff. Instead of spoons and like forks, I had to learn to eat with tortillas instead. Not a problem. I actually that's not what I'm mad about. I was probably okay with that. And I learned to eat with tortillas. Now, granted, I got full really fast. I it was so much corn tortillas, but beside the point. We, I think it was the first time my brother-in-law was at the house, and he fucking, he got mad that he had to do that. He's like, like God, savages. I was like, what the fuck, bro? Like, I was like, dude, your boyfriend just called, or your, I think it was your husband at the time, strip just called your family savages for eating like. You're in. I actually am like you're in Rome. Do as the Romans do. I had to learn it. I'm not calling them savages. It's probably fine. How prompt? It was. It pissed me off. I felt insulted. We're actually anyway. here about the Ihihana float. It's in bad shape, and we need. You got Sastasha with three console sprouts on Mentor Roulette. I, Oof. I'm told you work with Uyuipo Oof. and a certain kind of stone. Oof. Uh, Abokisha. Uh, I do. What's the point of doing mentor roulette over doing a uh, over doing a normal roulette? Aside from like the rewards that you get for doing so many of them. In particular, went to fixing homes damaged by the recent storm. I'll need ten days or so to restock. This is an item I want, but it's on mentor roulette. If you tell me where to go, right? They're even non-bread. Are you just doing it for the mount? Okay. What? Sandy thought promise out an errand like some common lackey? That's utterly unconscionable. A gross violation of social protocol. <laughs> so, oh, he really just does, does, does like manners. Worry about such things. All right, then. Yeah, I that's what a lot of people do, as I heard. He's so... Oh my god, dude. Like, yo, don't worry about it. Like, I'm the one... What's with your Hanu friend there? I am festival leader this season, and have come along to oversee the floats repair. As strange yeah, they're as brand new, sound, right? I mean, th that's your job as a mentor to mentor them. The float is an arcane I don't mind doing that because I like teaching people. The of our struggling reeds. Oof, I can see it a bit taking a while though. Mm. Too many Hanu have forgotten good, good. Things. But. That is indeed the true purpose of the lifting of wings. It's just, it's, it's hard. It's hard at times. Third promise. Well, maybe a little. Allow me to show you where to put Spamming rocks is brain dead. I mean, that is fair. Spamming rock is brain dead. I'll give you that. We can leave the Abokisha to your friends, I presume? 
Take yourself to Cave Kikitola or thereabouts. Oh, okay, that's you fine. Find the stones you need. It, hey, at least it wasn't um, Aurum Vale. At least you weren't in Aurum Vale, all right? It could be worse. I've been there once or twice. I can guide you. Wow, you've been in here since 1.0? I've only been since 5.3. Or no, 4. Wait. I was at 5.3. Wait, is this 6 or 7? I, I was at Shadowbringers. I was at Shadowbringers. It's when I started playing. I started right before 5.3 drop, and I made it right i made it to that point right after it started so i got to, i got to really experience it all in a row so everything was fresh in my mind chosen one one of your rivals is making progress <sighs> Iana, you say Should our first choice fail to the lever? I mean, my one of my mods is like that. This is seven, yeah. One of my mods is like that. He he's from 1.0. He doesn't play as much anymore though. Or I don't think he plays at all anymore. But he has a tattoo. Probably the Ellison dad in Cerberus. You've been around that long, huh? Well, see when I play Guild Wars 2. Uh. We had a guy on our on our uh server so we used to have like world battles so instead of doing uh instead of like fighting within the server it'd be the entire server versus another server and we used to call him granddad dragonhead because he was from the dragonhead server and it was or he was that's the server we were on we call him granddad drag or grandpa dragonhead and he was like the oldest he was like 80 like 70 something years old like being like a general in these armies it was great Damn, son, you've been around a long time. My old, my college roommate tried to get me into the game back in 1.0, and I regret not playing it. Oops. Ah! Ah! Yeah, I started on Summoner, and Ar I started on Arcanist is what I've been playing. Oh, that's what I heard. It was a mess. Yeah, we were. Yeah, you're you're not as old as I am. Well, actually, no, no, no wait. No, what point? No, oh, you're about as old as I am then. Never mind then. Because if that, yeah, wait, you're about the same exact age as me then. You turned twenty five this year. Oh yeah, no. Oh yeah, never mind. Oh, that's fair. Okay, because I was fourteen in two thousand ten. Back in the day, it was peak. <laughs> it was, I mean, it was better than most things that came out. Used to wipe a lot. Yeah, I heard it was a lot harder back then, too. This game's really been dumbed down over the years. I do wish they would make, like... The, the challenge isn't the classes. The challenge is learning the fights. That's the big challenge. But I guess if you're going to make the fights really hard, you need to make the classes easier. Oh, is that the Alpaca Keeper? Well, that's what I heard they did in they made the dungeons and um, made the dungeons and trials harder this time, which I don't mind Because the fates are just zerg rushes I'm glad I'm glad they did that with these though. I don't mind like 1.0 content But like if you're level 90 and you can't get through the dungeons Even like if you're level 90 and you don't know what you're doing how the fuck did you make it to level 90? I, I hate the people who just buy nothing but skips. Right, which I'm fine with that. I don't want ball bustingly hard. I my crowd running in my way because she's never done a dungeon so she doesn't know what to do. So you you didn't you did it as a uh as the, I'm probably going to do the dungeons first with um the trust system just so i can get used to it cave kikitola as promised one of many deadly creatures venture inside if you feel confident i will conduct my own search out here you can spot raw abaka abakasa by its green hue glimmer Oh, 
Baku logged in. Oh, this is really pretty. <laughs> I just kept nuking you. 108 yams to the west, so we just keep going this way. Oh, there it is. This is so pretty. Okay. Oh, hello. Uh, I have not played 9. I'm watching a playthrough of 9 for a VTuber that I'm friends with, but I am not, um... I have not played 9. My my big Final Fantasy thing is I played a lot of Tactics. So I played Tactics, uh, all three of them. And loved every single one. So that's kind of what I grew up with. So I didn't grow up with, like, the like 7 or, like, 8 and stuff. Yeah, that's what I've heard. It's based on Zidane. Which I don't mind. Like, I, I, I get why. Like, I ended up playing Tactics and Dissidia. I love Dissidia. But I, didn't, I played a little bit of Zane and Dissidia, but my main, what I mained in Tactics was... Um, I main... No, not in Tactics. Sorry. In Dissidia... Who did I main in Dissidia? It was, um... Oh, yeah, yeah, he does do the thing with his sword. I think everybody does the thing with their swords. I think that's kind of what you do with swords, is the thing. Oh, I can't, okay, I can't go this way. All right. Yeah, I think I, I played Onion Knight. I played Onion Knight, and I played, um... Fuck. I know I made Onion Knight in the first game, the second game I mained, um, Van. No, 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 I didn't main, no, not, not Van. I mained the guy with the guns from Final Fantasy VIII. He had a shotgun, I thought it was cool. We go on the ground in the entrance, but found nothing. The thing, the thing, you know the thing? Yeah, the thing. I'm assuming where he attaches them together and spins. You would have been happy to know we were putting this things right. Just be told, a good friend of mine was with the festival leader. But when the big storm hit, he did not survive. It felt me Aww. That's why you agreed, despite your initial reluctance. It hurts to hear, but she was right. Though I must mourn, I cannot let my grief consume me. Her words made me realize the path was to, rec to my recovery is already laid out before me, and I will, I will walk it. Man, that must have been a huge storm. I'm certain our companions are procuring the other materials we speak. Everything will come together in the Han we shall host a splendid uplifting festival. Yes, I am a I'm an Aura. Yep. I am an I am a uh Rayon? The um the more intelligent like the more not not the tribal ones, but the ones that were like underwater. I was that I'm that one, yes. Go away! Uh, what Viper weapon am I using? My Glamour is the uh, Vana Spotty ones. So these are the ones from Vana Spotty. The level 85 dungeon. But I'm currently... The actual weapon is the Augmented Zwills. Politics Central. Yeah, that's what that's the one. I, I'm, I'm that one. I thought about the Monstorum ones, but I was like, eh, I don't know. I kind of like simpler weapons sometimes. Like, the, these really simple ones. I don't know. I just, I like them. I like the, I like the simplicity of it. Yeah. I still, like, I love this glamour, but something about, like, the, the artifact, ar the artifact viper is so good. Yeah, it's a nice vacation. It really was. It's a nice, nice change of pace. 
Which we needed. You know, you need... You gotta put the brevity in there. Like, I never want to run Vada Spotty again after how many times I had to run for these swords. I literally ran it once for every piece of equipment. I could not have run it any... Like, I, I grabbed every piece of equipment. I got all this, I got all this, and then finally the weapons dropped. It's a lot, yeah, it's a dungeon. Luckily, this one only took me about five runs. I was, uh, and Gabe helped me out with the last, one of my friends helped me out with the last two, so I got it a lot faster. But I only had to run for the chest piece about five times, and, uh, uh, the, uh, which one was it? It was, uh, the Fell court, court. That's where I got the chest piece from. Uh, the legs are from the near raid. The arms are from... Yeah, it's not Dezel Darkhold, that's for sure. The arm guards are from... I forget what Dungeon Woad is, but it's that one. The, that's actual just augmented credendum. And the shoes are the uh, Crypt Lurker shoes. I still need to beat. I need to beat Thordin Extreme, which I, I mean, I'm just gonna do the unsync grind for it. And then I also need to do the two of the demon ones. Uh, the last one I have it's the first two that I don't have, so I need to do those as well. Mm. I mean, I'm not gonna do it like. Truthfully, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it like the single person where you can just unsync it. Where I'm just beating the shit out of them. You're likely to surmise the lifting of wings encourages the crops to grow, but not exactly how. Well, you're in for a treat. If all goes to plan, the results should be spectacular. I wonder if I'm playing a caster, if it would be okay for, if I could help. Alright, we're gonna teleport. Now, I got all of the, um... I did receive all of the, uh, the Gwybers I've gotten gen legitimately. So that's fine. At first, Wakifu criticized everything I did, then he suddenly yelled, I've spoken ill of the third promise, I must punish myself. He had to slam his head into the UFO tree. Told him not to worry about it again, and it was like snuffing out a candle. He's an odd one. At least you've seen the poles the new eye. Ooh! Uh, I think I have Aku Green. I don't have pumpkin orange, though. Hold on. I don't have Celeste Green. You should get some rest before the excitement begins. Wakabu being a goober. Wakabu is just an autistic man whose who's, uh, special interest is, is manners. Oh, shit. We're gonna get hit hard by this hurricane. It's gonna make landfall Monday. Second promise meanwhile, barely glanced at the fields before leaving. Okahana altogether. Maybe he asked too much of our, our young claimants. I wouldn't be too quick to count Kawana out. Our friend of mine overheard him muttering by the reeds. Think about what needs to be done. Perhaps we'll get to see another of his innovations firsthand. Hmm. That's like, our Kawana, one look at the reeds was all he needed to think of a solution. Be that as it may, our own solutions are is nearly ready. Well then wait, if once it's fixed, how does everybody get the get the crystals? Like if one person does it, it already knocks everybody else out. 
Because the thing is, you can't, like, do it over and over again. Looks I'm doing, but managed to gather competitors to vie for the title of win chosen. The winner was only too happy to donate his feathers. He called for the incredible gust that sent his feathers sailing for miles. Reminds you of me? I'm okay with that. I like Koana. Poor Aaron Vells twirled in the air for a moment before landing on his foot. <laughs> I'm not a cat. I'm a chimera. I'm not. I'm not a cat. I'm not. I have friends who are, but I am not. Actually, no. Is he a cat boy? Oh no, he's not a cat anymore. What is he now? Is he a raccoon? Isn't he? Hold on. I think he's a raccoon now. He used to be a cat. I have cat girls that are friends. Uh. Oh, he's a raccoon. He's a raccoon now. He used to be a cat. Right now, he's a person of great esteem, which is why an invitation should extend to the Dawn server. This time, however, I have another one of mine. You, Wachlamot. Our beloved Ihihan and the Lifting of Wings is only being held because of you and your companions. Tell about Kawana. I know, I know you are. You can tell about me being smart. I like y'all think I'm smart. I just play a scientist. Y'all think, y'all think ha House is smart? <laughs> House is just an actor. Although I, I do try, I do like to think that I'm smart sometimes. But it won't, won't make me seasick, will it? I hope not. I, I don't think so. The way anchor, I can hardly refuse a request from one even more enthusiastic than me. I'd be delighted to ride your float. Hope this works. I have rolls for the rest of you as well. I'll be carrying the festival float in a slow procession towards Kozano. Kozan Nuaki, where the sacred likeness of Hiksahi is ensconced. What I'd like for you to do is clear the path of a dangerous wildlife. Okay, cool. Finally, we get to kill shit. Yay. Too many characters on screen. I'm lagging. If more than five characters are on screen, I just start lagging out. I'll stay behind the sis Wuk Wuk Efu. Your sister's still in the, in the box. I have two cats. One of them, we have a hurricane coming, so one of them's hiding right now. She knows it's coming. It's just scaring her. She was under the bed at first. She wouldn't even come out for food. Yeah, yeah. I've got a university degree in in uh exercise and uh muscle and kinesiology, so like I have a science degree. I don't use it for shit, but I have one. Cause I was in physical therapy school for a while, and I. And I fucked that up, and I fucked up, fucked up nursing school. So I'm kind of just drifting. Yeah, not my first rodeo. Uh, as long as this one doesn't get stuck like the last one did, I'll be okay. The problem with the last one that hit us hard was that it got stuck because two high pressure systems trapped it where it was at, and so it just rained for days. We had a couple people die. People got I tried to swim through it, and they got sucked through drainage ditches and drowned. Something about bridges in the stride of the sun. Anyway, let's split up and get to work. I'm not leaving my apartment. I'm, I'm stocked up on food and groceries. Uh, I don't need to cook most of what we got. A lot of uh, canned chicken, a lot of canned tuna, a lot of bread so we can make sandwiches out of it. I think we'll be okay. Be better than last time. Although where we live, luckily, we're probably going to get power back pretty fast. Water may be gone, but we're gonna get power back pretty fast. What uh, what is that like? I kind of want to hear what that's like. I messed up my rotation. I genuinely want to hear being a toxic. You get a lot of different cases, like you, toxicology. So like you. So you run tests on, like, people bringing them samples and stuff, and you try to figure out what it is, I'm assuming. Hey, Kral got to kill something. I don't, you don't need to watch over me anymore. Yeah, well, I still want to check up on you. Yeah, it's a lot of morticiary work. I knew that. I wanted to be a um, pathologist when I was younger, but then I realized you have to go to school for, like, an extra four years. I was, an extra four years on top of everything, and I was like, ugh. I'm not going to school for 12 years. Fuck that. Wait, who's younger than you are?
That's cool. Krile? Krile was not younger than you. Krile, how old is Krile? Right, that's what I figured. Just make sure people don't die from the poisons. I did My family had to do that. She's 22? Really? Oh shit, you're right. Damn. Yeah, that happened to me once. I overdosed on Vicodin once when I was younger. That was a fun day. Woo, it was a fun day. Right. Accidental, ki accidental kid poisonings? Yeah, that, that happened. Yeah. She's 22 and has a PhD. Dude, you can't compare yourself like that. Like, I had to stop comparing myself to my class my classmates in high school. I was like, God, I feel so stupid. My mom, like, finally my mom put it, my mother put it into perspective. And she goes, no. You are number 33 out of 330. Actually, you were 20 for a while, then you just stopped caring. Uh, you are number 20 out of fucking 330 kids. And at the same time, your grade is full of people who are certifiable geniuses. Like, genuinely genius level people. You cannot compare yourself to them. They're going to be the ones that are going to be doing, like, you know, research the moment they enter college. These are the people who are curing cancer. You went to high school with them. Oh, that's terrible. That's sad. I just overdosed on Vicodin, which was just me drinking a lot, which involved me drinking a lot of milk afterwards. God, they didn't have its HP. Oh, fuck, I the wrong buttons. Oh, well. Well, yeah, the liver would give it. Yeah, he tried. Damn. Fentanyl is a hell of a drug. Ow, my head. Yeah. Well, that, that's a sad note. Yeah, that's not anything you can do at that point. Like. What, what do you mean change your character's face? He's so tiny! What's his helmet? Laws of Order? Ooh, that's cool looking. Where are the Laws of Order? So he's, a, he's a judge. He's a judge summoner. Oh, that sucks. Of the horn options for us. Yeah, a lot of the hair options are like stuck to faces for Hothgar. And the, the horn options for Aurora are stuck to face options too, so we only have like five faces. So, and I, like, I want to be able to mix and match the horns of the faces. Because there were a different set of horns I liked better, but, there were no, but it didn't match the face that I liked. Yeah, it's the likeness of uh, Kisahihi. The Hanu Hanu deity of the harvest. Oh. Even their sacred images are woven with reeds. It does kind of remind me of that. A little bit. Yeah, like when it comes to Aura, uh, our facial features are matched to our horns. Our tails are separate, though. One of the ancient's creations. It's possible a vestigial memory of the time that of that time endured. A subconscious recollection of the inherited inheriting soul provided the basis of the entirely new religion. I have no idea what that means. As far as I know, Kiksahihi was worshipped on another continent. The ancient faith was then brought to Tara by the first Hanu Hanu. The Hanu migrated from another continent, and we have the two do share a common ancestor. It's all very fascinating, but shouldn't we be getting back to Lino Li Linu Hanu? The one of the path to is safe. I need to run the float. I'll run ahead until we're done here. Yeah, like, all right, like uh, a lot of hats are locked out of Vera, which makes no sense. Like, it shouldn't be hard to just have the ears poke through the hat. 